morning, viewer. How you doing? Right, I did a competition yesterday, HFT, uh, at a place called Springfield in Chelmsford, England, obviously. And I did really badly. Uh, 14th, rubbish. Terrible score. I haven't done it for ages and ages properly. Uh, just getting back into it. Just having a little, dipping my toe in. You know how it goes. I'm loving it, by the way. I am loving it. Yesterday was so much fun. There was no pressure, no nothing. And doesn't matter how I do. However, however, this, on the other hand, annoyed me last night as I sat there and went, I can do better than that. I can do better than that. I can definitely do better than that. Today is another day, it's Sunday, and I'm off to Cambridge Air Gun Club. Now, Cambridge, I've shot it many, many, many times over the years, and um, I've had some terrible shots here. Really, really bad shoots indeed. But today is a bit of fun. Again, just dipping my toe back in. I'm really excited, I'm really nervous, funnily enough. Um, I don't know why I'm nervous, I've done this so many times, but I haven't done it for a few years, and it's sort of, it's a strange mixed feeling of like really looking forward to it, but with trepidation, obviously. Good word, eh? Look at me on a Sunday morning. Anyway, so you can tell I got an early light last night. The weather is rabbitio. It's horrible, and it's like a little bit of drizzle, and it's just mid typical England. Close your eyes, think of England, and that's pretty much what it is. I mean, not in that way, you know what I mean. So today is Cambridge. Today is going to be a different day. Um, the gun is working brilliantly, the Rapid Air Weapons TM-1000 is brilliant. I had some JSB shorts that worked tremendously in that, but I haven't got them anymore. I've used them all, I think. I think I've got one tin left, but I can't find them anywhere. Um, so I'm just using uh, JSB 452s, and they seem to be doing the trick. It's only a small video. I'll, I'll video the competitors today, and we'll, we'll have a little chat halfway round. But it's not, this is not gonna be a uh, edited, put together, proper, proper thing. Well, not that my editing's any good as, as you all know anyway. But I'm trying, I'm trying. But yeah, I'm really excited about it today. Uh, I hope, I hope it's gonna be good. There's not much wind, so that's always favorable. So if it's not super windy. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. But again, with trepidation, because again, I've been out the game for a while. And the people have really improved. People that, that weren't that great are now suddenly putting in these great big scores. And HFT is funny like that. The more you do it, the better you get, the more confidence you get, and it's all about confidence. Learning your kit, understanding how it works, understanding why, you, why you're missing. Yesterday was just LOT, and we all know what LOT is, lack of talent, I'm afraid. And it was lack of talent yesterday, which was really annoying. Um, oh, cyclists, come on. They take forever, these guys. Honestly, everybody thinks they're the Tour de France. Idiots. Anyway, anyway. Um, my gun's working perfectly. The pellets are good. They're not the best, but they're good. Um, I'd like to have done some more testing on other pellets, if the truth be told, because as we all know, BC is king. BC is king. Um, and it makes a hell of a difference with the BCs in JSB 844s, for sure. Anyway, I've done like, exhaustive testing on it, bored people rigid about it. But it's interesting that the ones I've got seem okay, they group okay, they're good, I mean, they group, but it's not a single hole of 50 by any stretch. The JSB shorts had a brilliant BC, and, and they grouped magnificently. That was such a wonderful pellet, best pellet I've ever used in a, in a um, well, 177 for sure. Anyway, right. God, my butt's on fire. These heated seats in the VWs. If you've got a Golf and you've got a heated seat, man alive, I feel like Joan of Arc. Anyway, that's clever, wasn't it? See what I did there? History. Is there no end to my talent or beginning? So, today I'm really excited. I'm gonna get a score, be it a good or bad one. I'm kind of hoping that it's gonna be reasonable. If I'm in with, in with a crowd, as they say, I'll be happy. You know, top 10 would be nice, top five would be really good, top three would be the best. I don't know, I set my sights a bit high, but come on, I can do this, I've done it before, I've walked up to here and rinsed them all. Not many times, but I have done it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing my friends, I haven't seen these, it's a load of them for a while, should be fun. So that's my day, uh, right. 
let's get there and see what we're doing, eh? After that vile attack by Darren, onto the plinking range. Let's see what they're doing. The plinking range, the hallowed ground of. I got 59 last week. Got 56, 54. What's the way they're doing today, eh? So I've, I'm used to these like big guns and things, right? The high power stuff. I'm not used to 12 foot pound anymore. And here's the funny thing. Twelve foot pounds, brilliant. <laughs> Smile. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. So we've done one wood. I'm three down, which is not very good. Um, Darren's doing all right. Yeah, not too bad with the W. He's doing well. Now, what do you do when you're, uh, you've got two woods to shoot, we've done one woods, what's, what's the thing you do? Let me tell you what you do. You stop for homemade Keith Lorraine. Did I make it? No. No, I very much did not. But it's very nice. Um, thank you, Darren. You're welcome. I'm shooting with him again, that's for sure. Woods two, little nice close target there. See how we go, Edge. Confident? Um, we'll find out in a minute. Right, let's watch it. You get this, it's all right. The close ones are bleeding difficult. Any HFT is watching, or the viewer, sorry. If you do HFT, you'll know these little tight close ones, they're real buggers. Let's see what we can do. Well done, well done. You gotta be happy with that, yeah? Over the moon, over the moon. Right, my go. Right, so, little tight, this is close, this is proper close. I hate these ones. Um, a lot of luck on this one. Shots up. Oh yes, get in. Thank you very much. Nil or stand. So your yards shouldn't be too hard, should it? You watch me make a meal of this. I hate standers. I hate meals. I used to love them. And that is tricky as well. Oh. He shoots, he scores. So we're back to it then. We had a disastrous weekend HFT in it. It was great fun. I loved it, seeing my buddies, hanging out. Most people were happy to see me. Most people. There was a few that were. Unlucky. Anyway, so, um, loved it. Really enjoyed it. I ached, I ached like there's no tomorrow, right? Because I'm old. I'm nearly 34, you know. I know, right? I know. Um, but oh my God. Oh my God. I'll tell you, I ate. Um, great fun. Did I make mistake after mistake after mistake? It's funny that you forget so quickly. I know it's about four or five years since I've done competitive stuff or a competition, a proper one, or proper two. Um, oh my God, I was so, I enjoyed it so much. But the funny thing was, the funny thing was, I did enjoy it, but again, I was so nervous. I mean, not so much the second day at Cambridge. What a lovely bunch of people there. Really good fun with those lads, right? And ladies, of course. Uh, great fun, had a laugh. Shot 53, but the top score was a 60, which was a really good score. 60 points. It wasn't windy. There yeah, are a couple of tricky ones, but it wasn't anything that, that really should have faced me. But when you've been out the game a little while, you suddenly you suddenly forget and you start doing silly things and 
Oh, aim down the middle. I mean, the standards, oh my God. You'd, you'd have thought I'd never shot a gun in my life. It was so funny. But, um, yeah, it was a strange, oh, hold on, traffic jam, one sec. Sorry about that. The uh, GoPro's on this little wobbly jig thing, so I don't touch it. But it seems to be moving around a lot, and I don't know why, it's strange. Anyway, anyway, so, yeah, I mean, there's some good scores at um, Cambridge that really were. Um, not mine, not mine, <laughs> no, duh. Um, but that was good. Uh, I've got another competition coming up in a couple of weeks. So, I'm down at Pete's Farm today, or this afternoon, it's evening-ish, uh, for a practice, because I've got to, to make sure, I've found the JSB shorts I've been bleating on about. I found a load of those, thank the Lord. Thank you, JSB, thank you. Um, they are such a good pellet, but I have to tune my gun to them, obviously under 12 foot pounds, and I have to make that so it works well with those, and it's always worked superbly well with those, and pellets make a hell of a difference. And is it, is it an excuse? Is it a cop-out? Honestly, it's not. It is a genuine thing. You know, some barrels love this, some barrels love that. My one likes, yeah, it likes a few pellets and stuff. 452s, 453s, 451s, it does it, it doesn't dig it. Um, however, it just loves JSB shorts because they've got the thicker skirt. They're like, and obviously, they're called JSB shorts for a reason, because they're short. Um, and uh, all good things come in short packages. I hope. But there you go, that's another story. That's from my late night channel. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a lovely day. I'm gonna get there. Uh, there's a couple of my buddies going as well, which would be good. Uh, we're gonna talk about HFT, what we did wrong, what we did right. So mostly I'll be talking about what I did wrong. Um, what did I do right? Well, the Keisha Lorraine was lovely. That was gorgeous. Um, and I had lemon drizzle. Ever had lemon drizzle? I'm not a sweet toothy person. Oh my God, the lemon drizzle was lovely. I can't cook anything. I can just about make beans on toast, but I'm a bit worried about the toast. But anyway, anyway, I digress. I'm gonna um, just go to Pete's farm, tune the gun, make sure it's all right, learn my ranges again. God, how quickly do you, learn, do you forget your ranges, your range finding? And how quickly do you forget your aim points? I got eight and 10. I know it sounds stupid, they're really close. But the close ones always get you. I've got a 40 yard zero and uh, eight and 10. Eight is two mil dots. 10 is nearly one, but not quite one. So yeah, I got that wrong a couple of times because I ranged it right, I did the right range. I arranged it correctly. I just shot at the wrong aim point because I'm a div. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna learn that. I'm gonna write myself another range card. I'm gonna turn the gun up a bit because it's only running about 11, 1, 11, 2. Needs to be a little bit quicker than that. Um, we've got 12 foot pound, up to 12 foot pound. So if I'm running like sort of 11, 7, 11, 8, that's gonna be better, right? You know, slightly flat, flat trajectory, not by a lot, let's be honest. But just any advantage because I need every bleeding advantage there is at the moment. I want a range finder right on a bipod, but. No, you can't have those. But yeah, um, if you haven't done HFT, why not? It's such a laugh. It's really good fun. And 95% of the people that go are really nice. I mean, you know, there's always a bad apple or two, isn't there? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, it is fun. And it's a great day out. It's a good walk and all. You know, get you fit-ish. Um, I've got to lose a bit of timber anyway, because I've got, I've eaten too much. and not done a load, so I need to, uh, yeah, smart myself up a little bit, make myself look a little bit more presentable. Um, and, you know, health-wise, I need to do some stuff, because like, you know, not the most healthy person in the world. I may look it, but I'm not. So yeah, I need to get my stamina up, because, you know, the fitter you are, you're just better, better all round. So you're not coming off the course, you know, totally knackered. You come off and you go, yeah, it was good fun, I could do it again. Last week's, both after both of them, I was like, I want to go have a ba have a bath and cry, but yeah, that's only because of my score really, and my back aches like a anyway, but ached a lot. So let's get to the range. So a little clean of the uh, gun just to make sure she was on. A uh, little bit low power wise, I've turned her up a little tiny bit. So I'm running about 11, 7, 11, 8 now. JSB shorts are incredible. Tried them against the other ones I've got, just normal 452s. No, there's no comparison. Those pellets 
I'll put this camera down so you can have a look. It's just ridiculous, it's chalk and cheese. Really, really happy with that. That's made a hell of a difference. The testing continues. Well, that was really interesting. Um, as I suspected, my pellets that I used were rubbish. Great excuse, eh? Oh yeah, so it's uh, yeah, definitely a pellet. Nothing else, couldn't it ever be me. No, it wasn't actually all me. Although most of it probably was most of me, but it actually, this, in this instance, I was getting flyers left, right and centre. But do you know what? Switched over to the shorts, cleaned the barrel, uh, turned the power up just a little bit. Oh man, that gun is so sweet. It really is, it's oh so sweet. Who sung that? Can't remember, anyway. It's oh so sweet, guns amazing, ridiculously small groups, did a stander on a 15 mil little bell. The back of the old wall, I thank you very much, witnessed by everyone, most people were annoyed, unlucky, so maybe my standards are coming back a bit. No, they're not, they're really not. I need to practice a whole bunch. It's a great fun thing, if you don't do HFT, you should. Um, can you just pick a gun up and go and do it? We well, can, will you be any good? No! You'll be terrible, like me. Um, this is the road back. This is the road back to being reasonable. I'm, I'm struggling for mediocrity, and that's where I'm gonna be. But you know what? I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. Um, roll on the next competition, which I think is in Springfield. Um, so we'll see. I'm really excited about it now, because I know the gun's working perfectly with the perfect pellets at the perfect speed. So yeah. Life is good. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's not it's not the most amazingly good video, I know, because it's all done on the GoPro as opposed to the camera camera. Although, and the sound's pretty crap, I'm sorry, but that's my fault. No mics or nothing like that. But hopefully, hopefully, um, I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, got any questions or queries, put them on down below. Um, yeah, go from there. Um, thanks for watching.